how to start over. When it feels too late. How to start over when it feels too late. So, the the founder and CEO of Life Hack, Leo Ho, has shared this story here. So, Jack is at the age of 37, and maybe uh, instead of I say, let me just go to read that out. 37, Jack is a senior manager at one of the big four and has been working in audit for over 15 years. He's got a great salary, owns his own apartment, and enjoys the finer things in life, but not without the heavy demands that his job brings. On the surface it would look like he's got life figured out. His next steps would be a promotion to becoming director, or settling down with someone. Yet, when I asked him if he was happy with his work, he hesitated before answering. He said that he sometimes wished he could quit his job to do something less stressful. However, he's become accustomed to this lifestyle and feels that it would be too late to give it up to pursue a new career or ambition. The external struggles that Jack faces are financial stability, social influences from his peers, the lavish lifestyle he leads, and status or recognition that he gets from continuing with this job. These may be things you're facing as well. Internally, Jack faces the risk of losing what he's built over the years. It just doesn't seem logical to give up this job for the pursuit of an alternative that would give more meaning to his life. You might have... All right. So he suggests a solution. And as a Jacku Doraemon, I seek the solution from watching Doraemon. And I found a solution. And that is here. You go go to YouTube and look for this video and uh, look at this at 29 at 29.51. I also put it here 29.59 and then you play this. This episode is a num is the first episode. It's called Remember How You Feel That Day. What does that mean, right? It takes you 10 minutes to watch this. And it explained that uh, that uh, Nopita, which is this person, feel very um, boring to go to school. So, um, and then, um, so Doraemon is thinking of what, what to do, right? So then he he take out from his pocket a tool, a a, a gadget, right? The, the 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 it's the gadget is called first time stamp. So what it does is that once you stamp on the person, the person will feel everything's like like the first time. So you chop it and everything will be the first time. I was like, oh, that's cool. So eventually, uh, after do many times, Nobita realized that if I want to get excited, get passionate, get motivated in whatever I do, I need to get that feeling of first time. And that is the imagination. You imagine that it's the first time. It's not really imagination. You actually go back. You travel the time travel machine. Help you travel back to the when you first time, first time learning. How do you feel? Now in this cartoon, um, uh, uh, comics will explain to you. Will show you that. So I suggest you to watch this. So the the key takeaway from this episode is that dormant this dormant episode is that you can motivate yourself by first help yourself going back travel back when you first time meet a person when you first time uh, learn something new when you first time drive a car when you first time uh, see your father and mother when you first time see your girlfriend and boyfriend when you first time see your your current wife uh, when you first time join the company when you first time meet this new staff when you first time a lot of first time 
Can you travel back to that moment and think about it? In the midst of conflict, if you can help yourself travel back to that first time, you realize that the person that is in front of you are sometimes are someone who appreciate you, who give you that opportunity where others don't give you. When you first time received a praise from the clients, after you receive so many praise, you find it's like ah so boring like this. This praise is just ah, too normal, right? I always have it. So can you travel back to the first time you received your first ever uh, uh, compliments or testimony? Right, your first time. Who is the first time person who help you to support you? Who is your first teacher? Who is your first guardian? Who is the one uh, that says to motivate you the first time? Say that you are excellent. Who is your first coach? Your first trainer? Yeah, your first someone to give you to support you for the very first time. Who are they? So think about that and list it down, and that will help you to feel that you're great. And you you just start over literally by having a different mindset, right? Change that. Always ask yourself, ah, huh? well, imagine not just really imagine, right? You just travel back to the to when you first time came out as a, to work. When you first time enter a college, when you first time enter a school, yeah, you first time having a picnic with your family members, yeah, you see that? First time, where is it? Where is it? When is it? That moment when you first time meet your God, yeah, that thought is so valuable. And when you come back, when you can travel back there, you are emotionally charged positively, and you realize that what what is facing in front of the conflict with others is just a small thing. Treasure that relationship. So, watch this video, and tell me what have you learned from this Doraemon episode. Hi, ladies and gentlemen, I am Jacku Doraemon. Can love, but the first time teach Excel, ah, that time is like you know shaking lake, and uh, do you know what is this one? So after fifteen years, today my leg no longer shake. I walk everywhere I want, every corner. But to get that feeling back, that passion back, right? That is very important. I. Need to travel back with the time machine. Travel back and extract that move, that feeling, because now I'm in the mid, mid forty, after past forty. So you heard of the mid life crisis, and that is what most people experiencing it. So you feel that you're not passionate anymore. Well, consider that. When's the first time? The first time you hold somebody's hands, uh, your loved one, or the first time? Yeah, that's it. And your life will be enriched by thinking of that. Thank you. Sekian terima kasih. God bless you. God bless Asia. Together, we excel before fifty and feel good every single day. As if it is the first day you live on Earth, and it is. Sometimes you never see the next day. Today could be the first day, and also the last day you on Earth. Think about it.